Yo guys, what up? It is Nick. We are back on Yu-Gi-Oh! G or Legacy of the Duels. We're gonna be doing continuing the GX uh, story. Uh, so we're on the Field of Screams. Camilla is one of my favorite like non-major characters. The second Shadow Rider, Camilla, defeated Doctor Crowler and Zayn, taking both their spirit keys and trapping their souls into dolls. It's up to Jane to put an end to her madness. All right, Camilla, I'm here for my friend's souls, and I'm not leaving until I get them. Truth be told, dear, you're not leaving here ever again. Not a single one of you are. Camilla, get your game on, and I mean on high, because when someone duels my pals and turns their souls into some dolls, puts me in a bad mood. And let me tell you something, I don't care. Ha 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 ha. Maybe this will change your mind. Oh uh, god, she's got the vampire deck. But I don't know how they... The, the decks aren't, like, comparable to what they had in the sh... They, you know, they're, they, they got the general idea, but they're not exactly what they had in the show. So, I'm not entirely sure here. Um what I'm to expect, because Jane's deck is not similar to- it's a similar, but I mean it's not the same thing. You gotta be kidding me with this hand, dude. At least I can bring monsters to my hand, but this hand is some- this hand is just weird. Okay, got Avion. Alright, so I'm gonna use one of these. I'm gonna bring Burstenatrix, and then I'm gonna bring Clayman to my hand. I think that's the best idea. Okay, let me play that. Okay, now do I want to bring Sparkman or do I want to bring Clayman? I'm going to bring Sparkman. I'm going to go offensive instead of defensive. If worse comes to worse, I do have Dark Hole. I also have that Bottomless Trap, so I'm going to go. I'm going to go offensive. I was thinking defensive and then just try to hold out for a polymerization, but ain't nobody got time for that. Oh wow, just barely. I was going to go Wild Heart because he's unaffected by traps, but if I would have gone with him, I wouldn't have been able to destroy Vampire Lady, so that was kind of a lucky guess. Okay, well, I got Clay Man. Um, I have a Monster Reborn, so I might just rock... I'm going to rock for Stenatrix because of the Monster Reborn. It's probably a little bit risky, but now I just need to draw Polymerization. Vampire Baby. If I had a Polymerization, I think I could summon Tempest, but I don't have Polymerization, so. And actually, Bottomless Trap could save for- okay, never mind. I guess we're just- we're just rocking and rolling here. I could summon Tempest. Right? Oh, I don't have Tempest as- uh, do you need Bubble Man for Tempest? I think you need Bubble Man for Tempest. Um, I think I'm gonna go- I'm gonna go Flame Wing Man. I think this is what I want to do. This may not be the best decision, but I like Flame Wingman. Probably my favorite elemental hero. I don't know, Shining Flare Wingman. He's up there. Alright, let me stop talking about that crap. Okay, let me get Clayman out here. Might as well just get the bulk damage. Hopefully she doesn't have a mirror force. I would assume she may have used it already, but I, you never know. I don't activate my Mirror Forces all the time when it's the best time. I usually wait, try to get the most monsters with the Mirror Force. Also, give me the best opening to attack. Okay, well, I think I just won. Was it, Is this the quickest duel of the whole series? Because this duel just took, like, no time. Okay. She better have something face down. Or a Kari- Okay, wow. Yep, easiest duel of the series so far. Thanks, Camilla. Jaden defeated Camilla, freeing, freeing Zane and Dr. Crawler's souls from her dolls. That's game. At last, the nightmare's finally over. This one, at least. Camilla is just a second of the Shadow Risers, and that means more are on the way. Dual distractions unlocked. Field of Screams reversed. I might use Camilla as my deck avatar. Uh, deck Recipe, Vampire Kingdom, Shadow of the Vampire Challenge deck, Cyrus Truesdale Booster Pack, uh, Vampire Genesis, Vampire Baby, Overpowering Eye, and some Dual Points. Okay, so let's go open up some Cyrus packs. Card Shop, Cyrus. We'll see if he's got any good- oh, he's got Cyber Dragons in his, so- and Perfect Machine King. I love Wing Weaver, but like it has zero purpose really, but I really like that. I forget what game I like that card in. Okay, come on. Give me just some- okay, Cyber Barrier Dragon. So this is good. I do like playing Cyber Dragon, so I guess Cyrus has this for me. 
Beasts, Attack Reflect, Gladiator Beast, he has Gladiator Beast as well, UFO Roid Fighter. I haven't pulled like any Roids yet. Other Cyber Dragon. So he's got Gladiator Beast, Cyber Dragons, I would guess Roids because that's what he plays. Cybernetic Zone. Uh, does he have Dark Lords as well? There's Cyber Kirin, Steam Gyroid, another perfect Machine King. Hmm. Not pulling any base. I wonder if there's a Zane pack. Okay, so there's one more pack. One pack is gonna be Jaden. So this is either gonna be Jess. I'm guessing it's Jesse. Probably. I'm guessing it's probably Jesse, so you can get the Crystal Beasts. Can I just get a regular Cyber Dragon blocks? Okay, I'm going to open two more of these after this. Cyber Larva, Volcanic, so he has the Volcanic cards as well. Uh, there's regular Machine King. Glare Beast Marmillo. Yeah, I think this is the last pack I was going to open, right? I don't know. Infernal Dragon. Alright, not bad. I'll open up one more. I don't know. I lost count of how many packs I was going to open. Oh, there's a Truckroid, Cyber Dark. So he has Cyber Darks as well. So I think I've found my favorite pack so far. So we got Cyrus. I think Alexis was pretty good. Yugi's, Kaiba's, and Mai's I think were the ones that I like so far. I'll probably end up, when I'm completely done with this whole series, um, end up doing just a large pack opening for a whole video. Because I'm going to have a ton... Because if you think about it, we're not even through GX, and I've already stockpiled like 2300 in extras extra like dual points because I'm not like spending them all as soon as I get them so uh, I'm gonna end up having like 50 or 60k stockpiled I'll probably do a video and just open up stuff with two spirit gates already open the shadow rider Tanya defeated Bastion and gained possession of his spirit key after losing his duel to Tanya Bastion became infatuated with her and wanted to rematch to prove that he was worthy of her Tanya can't you take a hint I already dumped you don't you remember he wants a rematch. He can't have one, but you seem quite brave. I do, but I'm here for my friend. He already lost. I duel you or there's no duel. I never back down from a challenge. I'll do it for Bastion. You know the rules. If you lose this duel, you lose your spirit key and single status, meaning you move here to this battle arena with me and become my husband forever. I sure hope that Jay knows what he's doing. I sure do, and when I'm done, Bastion will know that you don't have to be in love to duel with a passion. What do you say we start this, huh? I don't like- she has Amadazanas. I don't like her deck. I don't like her deck against- I don't like her deck versus Jaden's. I don't really like the matchup. Because she has- she has some higher attack point monsters like Amazonas, whatever, Paladin, and uh... But this is not a bad starting hand. It's not a great hand. Um, target one warrior. Okay, that's in the graveyard. The Graceful Charity will be helpful. Okay, let's go with terraforming. Let's have, let me add Skyscraper to my hand. Okay, now let's do Graceful Charity. Beautiful. Um, let me send Clayman, and... Let me just send both of my Claymans to the graveyard. And I'll bring one back to my hand. So I could go... I could drop a Thunder Giant off the bat here. But I almost... I'm, I'm gonna drop a Flame Wingman off the start here. I like this better. I like this plan better. I'm gonna drop a Flame Wingman, but I'll also have a Sparkman out there. So let me play this first. On what side? Skyscraper. Okay. Uh, yeah. Flip. I want Flame Wing, man. Alright, beautiful. Let's get him out here. When we get to Arc 5, I'm just thinking about this. I'm gonna have so many issues with Pendulum Summoning because I don't know how to do it. If she has something that destroys my monsters, it's gonna be a problem. Alright, Flame Wingman. Thank you. What is going on? What is going on, dude? 
Oh god. Well, son of a dude. Well, Mark Man's going bye bye, and I'm guessing probably I will draw a polymerization next turn. What is going on? Um, why should play that in attack mode? Oh, so now it has the same attack po Son of a- I gotta take this thing out. Oh, you have got to be kidding me! Dude, what is going on? What? Oh my- Oh my god. Oh my god. This is an issue. I'm gonna- I'm gonna get wrecked here. I'm gonna get wrecked, dude. This is awful, dude. Well, I need to draw something good next turn, or I'm so screwed. Well, I am so screwed. I should have gone for Thunder Giant. Should have gone for Thunder Giant. All right, I need something good. Something, anything good. Come on, come on. Oh God. Well, I um, I have this my only option. I have to draw- I don't even know what I can draw to win next turn. I guess I have to draw like a pot of greed and then keep drawing graceful charities or something. <laughs> Cause that's about it. Nope, that's GG. I'm not even gonna get my turn. I don't think. Yeah, I'm not even gonna get my turn. Hey dude, that was a pretty good start. And then... Oh, oh my- oh god, dude. Yay, we just got reamed. Son of a bitch, man. I'll take Amazon as Sage, because I'm actually using her in my in my magician deck, but I probably could just pack her. I need to get some Dark Magicians, dude. I don't have any Dark Magicians yet, so that deck is like completely useless. Alright. Let's hope for a better better start here. I guess we can't get we need a better like middle of the duel. It's not bad. It's not bad. Never mind. It's not bad. Come on, give me like graceful chair. Okay. Okay. I'll take it. I can't complain. The good thing is I have a warrior returning alive. So I can bring one back to my hand, which I think I'm gonna bring first in a trick, so if I wanna make Rampart Blaster, I can. After I get past 5Ds, my knowledge of, like, what the decks I'm gonna be playing are, like, come to a complete, like, stop. Okay, now let me drop Mirror Force face down. Summon Burst Alright, so this, this duel is starting almost exactly like the last one I played. Literally almost identical. We dropped the Flame Wing Man on turn one, as well as another monster. This time it's Prestinatrix instead of Spark Man. Could Mirror Force, but then that'd be a waste. Really? Really? Game? Really? Give me Spark Man. Give me Spark Man. Spark Man. Oh, another Prestinatrix. Um. Okay, I'm gonna set Clay Man. I'm gonna do it this way. I'm gonna get rid of this Amazonas Paladin. There we go. Get okay, in my turn. Go ahead and attack Clay Man. Uh, reinforcements of the army. Of course, another Amazonas Paladin. Set. Oh, okay. Nope. Set your Amazon's Paladin, thank you. Oh, look, I get to summon a Rampart Blaster. Awesome. Now I'm out of cards in my hand, though, but I do have Mirror Force, so if everything goes to hell, I do have Mirror Force. Okay. Drop Rampart Blaster in attack mode. I'm gonna take Wingman and go here. Oh, okay, it's Blowpipe or not. It doesn't really matter what monster that was. Alright. Good stuff. Just 
She's got Paladin in her hand. She's gonna have to play it. What am I gonna draw? What am I gonna draw? Terraforming. This'll work. I'll take Skyscraper. Now I'll drop size Skyscraper. Now if this is Amazonas, I'll come up 100 attack short. But it's not Amazonas Paladin. Okay, so we came up 300 life points short. I don't know what just happened. I don't know if like a... My house is open, like... Because it's nice out. I don't know if that was like a window falling down. Or someone just like... Is I'm um, sieging my house. Okay, there's Sparkman. I'm not gonna play him in case. I don't know what this face down card could be. Okay, good. We win. See, that duel could have been so easy, and I just got screwed in the first one. She just dropped the world on me. I guess that's game. Let me know if you ever want a rematch. No rematch. I joined the Shadow Riders to find a duelist who'd be worthy to be my husband. But I've discovered I am not yet. I am not worthy to be with you, or I can't read, to be with someone as strong as you. I read that wrong too. Farewell, Bastion. Well then, I guess that this is it. Boy, Bastion, you sure know how to pick them. Don't worry, buddy, there's plenty of fish in the sea. A reason to win, campaign duel unlocked, reverse duel, Tanya deck avatar, Amazonas warriors deck recipe, the brave Am Amazonas challenge deck, Amazonas tiger, the warrior returning alive. Ooh, Amazonas queen, nice, kinda like that card. Nice chunk of duel points. Okay, a reason to win. So we get to duel as Alexis. I like her deck. Uh, Alexis tended her to her brother in the infirmary. A mysterious voice suddenly filled her head saying that she could save her brother under one condition, that she beat him in a duel. It was the voice of Titan, thought to be lost to the Shadow Realm. He had returned as one of the Shadow Riders. Alright, so we duel, and if I win, you restore my brother's memory. That's the deal. Your end of it at least, but if I win, I get something too. Your spirit key and your soul to take back with me to the Shadow Realm. When you and I first met up, I was but a charlatan of the shadows. However, since being taken in by them, I am now the real deal, an authentic Shadow Rider. Let us begin. Alright, Titan. You're just a basic bitch with some basic needs. Here's going to be easy. Dude, I'm just winning all... I feel like... Paper. I feel like all these people just pick rock. I think paper has won me almost all of the ones I win. Alright, give me a good hand. Good hand. Mm, okay, not bad. This hand could be better. Mm -hmm, doble passe. Attack on face-up attack position monitor you control. Make your opponent attack a, dir attack a direct attack instead and inflict damage to your opponent. You oh. Okay, what does this monster do? One face-up monster, its attack is halved until the end phase, and it can only attack your opponent directly this turn during the turn. Okay, I'm gonna set this. I need to drop Cyber Prima. Oh, MST, great, thanks, dude. You douchebag. Okay, well, let's just play Monsters in Defense Mode all day. Cyber 2-2, two, two. the attack of each monster your opponent controls is higher than the attack of this card. This card can attack your opponent directly. Okay. We're just gonna play some defense here. Titan, you're making the first move. I still have four cards in my hand, so... Oh my gosh. Titan, what are you doing? No, I don't wanna... Oh my gosh, I don't wanna activate MST. We can do this all day, bro. See, he ran out of cards to play. I still have cards in my hand to play. Oh, he's setting a magic card or trap. Oh, there's Cyber Prima. Okay, we're gonna. We're, we're, I'm, do, I'm done with this. I'm done screwing around. I'm done screwing around with you, Titan. No. Um, now it's time to activate rare gold armor. You know what? I actually do want to use MST. I want to find out what he dropped back there. I'll find out. 
to ask counter boy to destroy any monsters that inflicts battle damage to a player's life points. But okay, good thing. Okay, that's probably a good thing I destroyed that. Okay, well I can flip some of these guys now. Or these girls. I hope I get the duel. I don't think I will because they're not technically a card yet. They don't technically exist. Okay. At least I found out what that was. Okay, but I don't think I'll get to, what are they called, Cyber Angels? I don't think I'll be able to use them. I wish I could, but I can't. But if I, I, want, I really want to use them. I really want them to make those cards. And Infernal Arch Queen. Effective effect of cards. Okay. I'm going to summon my other Cyber Prima. Or 2-2, two, two, because if I can draw a Blade Skater, I can summon eight, or I can summon uh, Cyber Blader. Oh, damn it. Oh, well, whatever. I need that card anyway. Well, now it doesn't matter if I got that card. Except for the fact that I guess he could play something and summon eight, or destroy eight while Cyber, but... I'm okay with that. I probably should start... I probably should save one monster in my hand, so if he destroys everything, I'm not totally screwed. Oh, he's playing Ritual Summoning something. Oh, God. Oh, this is not good, dude. Okay, good. Graceful Charity. This can help. Oh, God. What do I want to discard now? Um... Do Doble Passe. Oh, this is not good. I don't know what to discard. I guess it's gonna have to be a 12 cyber, because I'm not getting around. How much attack does Blades Gator have? Not enough. While your opponent controls one about this card cannot be destroyed by battle. While your opponent controls two monsters, double this card's attack. While your opponent controls. Okay. Um. Hmm. Well. You're at an impact. Okay, you know what? Screw it. I want to get rid of that thing. I'm trusting he. I'm. I'm assuming in my brain, which is a horrible idea, that he doesn't have anything in his hand. That he doesn't have a monster right now. I need to draw. I need to draw you twelve cyber next turn. Don't have anything. Doesn't have anything. Give me. Oh. Well, we're just gonna keep attacking him with Blade Skater, because that's really all I can do right now. Alright. I guess Messenger of Peace can bail me out if I need it. Yep. Yep, I'm, as I'm activating MST. Whatever he just played, it's gone. What'd he play? He doesn't even have an archery monster on his side of the field, so that's kind of a waste, but... Two more turns of this, dude, and I can win. <laughs> or I could draw bullet, or I could draw A12 Cyber next turn and win. Don't have a monster, don't have a monster. Oh my gosh, he doesn't have a monster. Come on. Really? Really? Really, game? No, I'm gonna play the scapegoats. This will give me time if he does draw a monster next turn that's stronger than mine. Okay. He's got 200 life points left. Come on, Titan. Don't draw anything good. Don't draw anything, just end your turn. Dang it. Oh, no. Oh, God. Really? Really, Titan? Just give me any monster. Any monster, four stars or less. Clutch. Clutch. The clutch is real. Say goodbye, Titan. Alright. Easy peasy, dude. Easy. No, not again. Atticus? Lexi? Addy, welcome back. Thanks, Lex, for everything. Wait, there are so many unanswered questions, like how you ever ended up in the Shadow Realm. Titan said you did it for the power. Believe me, Lexi, I never chose to go. One day, a few of us were told to meet at the abandoned dorm, and then it happened. There was supposed to be a dual test in the basement, but instead we found hundreds of those little shadow fiends. I couldn't escape. 
I was brought to the Shadow Realm, they brainwashed me for months until I became this thing called Night Shroud. By who? Who was it that brainwashed you? I never did figure that out. However, the person who called me to take the dual test was Professor Banner. Our Professor Banner? No, you idiot. A different Professor Banner. No, he's in on So he's in on it. Amnail's Endgame. A reason to win. A reverse duel. New deck recipe. Titan Skulls. Challenge deck. The Ghost Trick Surprise. Jesse Anderson booster pack. Pandemonium. Double Summon. Beastly Mirror. Okay, so now we gotta go. I was right about the Jesse Anderson. And the last one has to be Jade, and it wouldn't make sense if they didn't have a main character pack. Okay, no Crystal Beasts on pack one. I'm gonna go down to like 26 or 25. I'll sh so he has Shadals. Okay, I'm not drawing, I'm not getting any Crystal Beasts. This is kind of weird, out of his bag. Not getting any crystal beats. Um, Evil Dragon Anata. Okay, we're gonna open up two more after this, I think. Or one, oh, there's a crystal beast finally, Topaz Tiger. Yeah, two more packs, we'll go down to 25. Oh, seven completed. <sighs> oh, gosh. Uh, Shadal Fusion, Crystal Raigeki. Alright, not bad. I don't know, I'm not too into Crystal Beasts. Like, I really like Rainbow Dragon, but that's about it. Okay, so Jesse Anderson's packs are below average at best. I don't really like that pack. Alright, so back to Amnail's Endgame. Now, do we, like, skip? Mmm, well, kind of. I think we go from Amnail's Endgame to the end of Season 2 to the start of Season 3. I think that's... Okay, well, Amnail's Endgame. Let's do this. The final Shadow Rider Amnail appeared and took Chaz, Alexis, and Professor Banner's spirit keys. Amnail was now after Jade and Yuki and the final key. While searching for Amnail, Jade and his friends were led to the abandoned dorm. Exploring the dorm, they discovered a mysterious cave with a large coffin in the corner. Pushing aside the cover revealed the mummified remains of Professor Banner. But to their great surprise, Amnail emerged from the shadows and removed his mask to reveal that he was also Professor Banner in disguise. Two Professor Banners? Talk about deja vu if you're you. Then who's that mummy? Do not call me Banner. I am Amnail, your greatest foe. To get any of your friends back, you'll have to defeat me. And if you cannot defeat me, you will be joining them, all of you. Come on, Prof, snap out of it. It's best that you forget the one you knew as Banner. He is no more. What do you mean, no more? To understand everything, you must do just one thing, and that is to duel and defeat me, Jaden. Only then will the truth be revealed. Only then will the secrets be unlocked. Will you, will you accept the chis challenge? Will you face me? Of course I'll face you. Let's throw down. Alright, let's do this. I'm about to destroy Amnail. Let's go, bro. I don't even remember what deck he plays. Go first, go first. Dang it. I don't want to go first. I hate going first. Alright. Um, I don't know what I want to draw. This is... Okay. One Karibar Wink Ringo. Yes. Fence mode. Okay, time to future fusion. Alright, now who do I want to summon? Kinda want to summon Electrum. Okay. When this card is fusion summoned, shuffle all banished cards into the deck. This card gains 300 attack for each monster your opponent controls. Then that shares an attribute with this card. Okay. Okay, what's Tempest's ability? You can send one other card you control to the graveyard to target one monster you control. While this card is face up on the field, that monster cannot be destroyed by battle. That's not bad. Wild Edge. This card can attack every monster your opponent controls. One attack on each monster per battle phase. I'm gonna bring out... I'm gonna bring out him. I'm gonna do that. Do do, there we go. Send those to the graveyard. And I'm gonna set Clay Man. Alright, your turn, Amnail. That was a decent hand to start with for first turn. I 
want like graceful charity or something. All right. Well. Hmm. Okay. Let's go ahead and fuse. I'm worried that he's got four cards left in his hand. I've got one. I've got just Dark Hole. How many turns do you wait for future fusion? It's my second standby phase. That's it. Oh, okay. I thought it was longer than that. Because I wanted to know if somehow he destroys my monster, with, but I can't Dark Hole. Because I'm gonna... He's gonna drop next turn. Macrocosmos. Oh, yeah. He has the Helios. Helios cards. Well, this ain't good. Okay, this is... Mm, this isn't bad. Warrior returning alive. Yep, okay, dropping, dropping my, uh, my wild edge. Alright, so who do I want to bring? I think I want to bring back, uh, Sparkman, probably. It's got them, oh no, there is no Sparkman in the grade. Okay, we're bringing back Wildheart. And I'm gonna drop him. So if Future Fusion gets destroyed, does that mean he gets destroyed? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Yeah, what? What? What the? Oh my god. Oh, well, I still got Dark Hole. Still got Dark Hole. I can still do this. This ain't good. I need Monster Reborn or something. Okay. Well, Sparkman will work. I'm just gonna leave him in attack mode. Uh, not do anything. Try to stall some turns here. Because I don't think... What's going on? Um, you have got to be... You have got to be kidding me. That's a... I need to read effects before I just play cards, because... Ah, this is not good. Okay, this buys me some turns. Not many, I'm assuming, but it does buy me some turns. I need another future fusion, dude. Someone... Do I have another future fusion in my deck? That'd be nice. So can this card change my position or just change the defense mode? Oh, you can just change the battle position in general. Okay, this is not good. Okay, summon another monster so I can dark hole. Okay, dang it. I want him to drop another. I'm gonna have to. Yeah, I'm gonna have to dark hole. Yep, I'm gonna dark hole. Okay, well, Avion, let's get some damage. I need to draw Prestinatrix next. I need him to not summon a monster, and then I need to draw Prestinatrix next turn. I gotta go clutch, but I think I already have two of her in the graveyard, so that's bad. Oh, nope. <sighs> Dang it, dude. I drew another Avion. Okay, I'm just gonna wait. I gotta draw Prestinatrix. I've got one turn, I have to draw Prestinatrix here. Or I have to draw something that lets me draw more cards. Something. Oh, the clutch is real, but he's got two face down cards, so I'm a little bit worried about that. It's probably a trap hole or a bottomless trap hole, something. Probably gonna screw, ruin my day here. But this is like game changer right here. This could be. Okay, well, we're about to find out if this is G, if this can, not GG, but if this will uh, bring us pretty darn close. Why didn't I get his effect? Why did I not get his effect? Oh, because it's not sent to the graveyard, it's removed from play. Dang it. That's annoying. He really didn't draw anything? First return. Okay, I don't really... Oh my gosh. If he can't play anything for the next two turns, I'd win. I'd win! Oh my gosh, he still can't play anything. Dude, this is beautiful. 
It's the only card in your hand. You can special summon it from your hand. When this card is summoned, you can draw... Um, I'm just going to set first return. I'm not going to summon Bubble Dan yet. There's no point really at this point. I want a monster in case he just wrecks my face with something. Don't draw anything, don't draw anything, don't draw anything. Another Macrocosmos, really. Really, game. Okay, Fusion Recovery. Polymerization. And let's go Clay Man. Summon, let's summon Mudball Man. No, actually I'm gonna summon... I'm gonna summon Bubble Man. I'm gonna destroy... Oh, I can't destroy it. What am I... What am I smoking, dude? I'm not paying attention to the game. I'm gonna summon Mudball Man in defense mode. I think this is the best strat right now, it's just to drop him in defense mode, but the problem is, if he's able to destroy all my cards, I'm gonna lose, because I don't have anything left to play. Oh no. Oh no. What the hell did this do? Your opponent monsters that have the same attribute. What? What attribute is it? Is that rock? Okay, well... That's not completely horrible, but I just can't attack. I can just leave it in defense mode, I guess. I need a monster. Something. Okay, reinforcements of the army will work. Bring Sparkman to my hand. Alright, Sparkman, please be able to... You know what? I can just do this. I cannot risk it. Please tell me I won. Please tell me I won. Yes! Let's go. Let's go, baby. The mummy is me. My body was ravaged by a curse, and I knew that what had to be done. I used alchemy to recreate a new body, and I played my soul or I placed my soul inside of it. But it is only a matter of time before this body is a pile of dust in the wind. Professor Banner? Jaden, listen careful to me carefully to me, my boy. Everything I did was to test you and to prepare you for the real evil to come. This is why I became a Shadow Rider, not to take over the world, but to stop the one who is try who's truly trying to. You had to become a better duelist so that you could face him and hopefully defeat him. The threat is so grave that I had to deceive you. I hope that you can forgive me. It's over. He's gone. So what now? From what Banner said, I guess we should be on the lookout for some terrible evil that wants to take over the world. Okay, but when aren't we, really? You got a point there, Cyrus. No, this is different. Banner gave his life to prepare us for the evil that's coming. I just hope we're ready because whatever we're about to face is going to be unlike anything we've ever faced before. Rise of the Sacred Beast campaign to unlock, Amnail's Endgame, Amnail, Sun Helios deck recipe, Obey the Alien Challenge deck, Helios, Trice Magistus, Aqua Spirit, and Ninken Dog, and some victory duel points. Okay, so, I was wrong. I thought that was what's-his-face, the, the guy, the white society dude. I thought that was him. So I think we totally... Do we totally skip? No, no we don't. No, no, there he is. There's his outline. See, there he is. Okay, so we actually get all three seasons of GX, unlike the first Yu-Gi-Oh! We only got, like, two seasons in the end of the, fi the final episodes. Uh, so, that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll be taking on uh, the Sacred Beast in the next episode, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys then. Peace out.